I'm one of these. And, um, I wanted to share this message with you today uh, on a meditation that I had yesterday with regards to um, what's been going on right now in my life and a recent treatment that I've had. Um, I did a video on that. Um, and many of you know that when I've been meditating, I see us in yachts um, and we're rising and and then I see individuals drowning and by no means do I mean like in the um, floods that are currently happening or, or any other natural disasters. It's more of a, an energy drowning and especially with a lot of the truth that is being revealed with um, especially on, on uh, Telegram, I, I love it. You've got channels like 144,000, you've got our everyday lives, and um, Michael's a very much a commander and, and helps you navigate through certain things and certain experiences and maybe frequencies. Um, Cancel that. No, maybe frequencies. And frequencies. And And how they're in the pit that Michael often talks about. And what I've come to understand for myself, because uh, I'm currently going through it, and maybe you are too, is that we're on these yachts. And what I've realised is these yachts are our mind. And it is rising. And there are certain people that are going to be on your yachts and vibes with you and who you see and that sort of thing. And oh God, it's brilliant. <laughs> I'm scared of the image again. And, um, and there's going to be people that are going to try and get onto your yacht um, and you will help them as best you can. You will send out your raptors, for example. This is the truth. This is all that's been going on. This was the satanic, this, well, this is the satanic mind. And that was in power. But we've now taken over because it's all about love and joy and, and bliss and, and all those sorts of things. And I'm getting the word comfort as well, in the sense that, there's no more of this attacking um, frequency going on. It's just calm. Um, and, and there will be those that will grab onto those rafters and will start to rise themselves up so that they can climb your, this ladder of frequency to maybe your yacht so that you can help them to navigate what's going on, or they get up to your yacht and then they're like, nah, this ain't for me, and jump onto another yacht of somebody who um, they vibes with and their frequencies match and that sort of thing. It's, which is cool. It, the, the most amazing thing is, is that they grabbed onto the life raft and pull themselves up like while you're putting them in with the, all this information and they're like yeah god my god i didn't even know that's going on i had no idea and and i'm, like, oh, I'm seeing it and then um rising up their frequency and they'll jump on lots of different other frequencies where they are on their journey and <clears throat> What I've come to understand, and I pray that it's an understanding, forgive me, I was muscle testing um, for myself, for my 
unconscious minds and make sure they actually have the program and that they do have this from a higher perspective. And I understand. So the recent trigger that I have had, um, and I'm so grateful to my DSP for um, helping me navigate this because I was, I, I got triggered and I went off I was going off with that emotion. When you go off to that with that emotion, um, you're being pulled back into that traumatic experience. <clears throat> and it helped me to stay focused and stay on course. And hmm, what I see these triggers doing their best to do is make holes in your yacht to damage your yacht um, now we all know that the left side of the body is to deal with the mother side and the right side of the body is to do with the father side and all of their belief systems and, and etc so when you get a, a pain in the left side of of your body is that what is that to do with your um, your maternal lineage and um, where does it come from and when you feel into it and understand it then you can um, and have a greater scope of it and um, you can deal with it and when it's something on the right side you can deal with that again um, in the same manner now what I do and this is what I was taught and then how I was guided thereafter once my um, firstborn um, just kicked me back on my path um, and I when I'm meditating I see the body meditating in universe or depending on how I see it on that occasion whatever the backdrop is and I then um, see it like a computer and the only reason why I've managed to um, grow and develop this way is because I listened to David Icke and he said that the mind is like a computer and you can change it and reprogram it and etc etc and as soon as I, as soon as I saw that video, I was seeing frequencies in the script, um, computer script. For those who do it, you'll understand what it was that I was seeing. Which helped me to develop my, what I see and how, how I'm able to help myself and, and help other people to ask. And... <clears throat> When I see all of the cause and where it is and whatever that um, element may be, um, uh, maybe it's um, about eating too much, maybe it's about smoking or drinking, or uh, maybe there's a pain in my leg, um, pain in my shoulder, pain in my back, pain in my lower back, um, whatever it is. I have a look to see where is this called? Is this called and stuck into the same? Well, do you know what? Forget that. It's always stuck in the satanic mindset. But where did it originate from? What of your ancestors was dealing with this situation and what were they learning? That is the most crucial thing that you can understand from all of this is what were you learning what were they learning what were they doing their best to achieve and accomplish and have God's understanding on all, all of that and wisdom and truth and then have it percolate 
history. Sometimes there's a gift in it, there's letters, there's teachings. Um, and, hmm, and when you go up the cord and see all the different lineage, sometimes there's curses, um, there's other blockages. It's just, oh, but when you take it out and you plug it into the universe, and what I do is I, I send what I call now the antivirus, which is like um, upgrading everything, taking them out of, they test my box if you've done that, um, and then upgrading everything that was being learnt in every single circumstance, whatever that circumstance was. Upgraded all to God's light. Um, it's it's real easy to look at other people's things than your own sometimes and especially when you yourself has gone through it and you're like yeah I, I resonate with that in the sense that that was how I was, that's how I used to do things, that's what used to, what, that was my reaction. <laughs> There's a, a wonderful book that a friend lent, um, lent me and then I subsequently purchased by Dan Miller and it's called The Way of the Peaceful Warrior. Amazing book. And there's something in there, there's a quote in there that I will never forget. I do sometimes in certain situations where um, I react rather than um, act. So, warriors act, fools react. <laughs> and I, when I got triggered, I was reacting. I was reacting. And I'm giggling because it's not so funny that that's how I was in that situation. It's like um, I had that part of me was still stuck in a certain frequency and it needed to escalate to this um, level, ascend to this level. I got told that the escalate is the wrong word, ascension is the right word, it's to ascend. I hope that this helps you. Um, I hope that you're able to to see and, and do it yourself. Um, so many people have asked, how do I reprogram my mind? And that's how I do it. That's how I see it. Especially when it comes to other people. Um, sometimes when I'm guided to just help random strangers uh, because they are their, their cords are loose from the satanic mind and I just ask the universe to, to sort it out and, and witness it for them however that witness may be because we as healers as light workers we're here to help and when somebody's um, body part or um, energy frequency is asking for help and you're able to help even if there's no need for you to actually have a, a conversation with that person that's what we do right you all are doing such an amazing job this world is it's happening and i love it thank you so much for everything that makes a difference because being told don't cry but <laughs> I it's amazing do I say it now okay so <laughs> a lot of the t my times I meditate when I'm washing up I love that meditation and on this particular night when I was washing up um I got uh, I got this image in my my head of it was like I was walking down the path and there was meadow and trees and oh gosh it was so beautiful and so much joy and 
um, and it, I was having this conversation about where is this coming from because this the way that it, it kind of penetrated me was in, in a different way in which I get information from from source and I'm a little hesitant to say just because it makes me vulnerable um, in a, lots of different kinds of ways. Um, I will look at that on, a, on another day and time. It was a GFL. And I remember asking, oh my god, this is so beautiful, I love it, it's so much love, can I tell everybody? And they were like, yes. I was like, okay, can I, And uh, but you can't say about certain descriptions and things that are just for you. And I was like, oh, but why? Um, how do, I'm such a chatty, chatty, chatty person, how do you know that I'm not going to say these things? And they, they were like, we, we, we just do. And I was like, Okay, all right. And when the unplug happened, I started to forget what it was that I was shown. The one thing that I remember most in my head was walking down this path, meadows and trees. And it was just, and it wasn't a tarmac or concrete path or anything like that, it was earth. <laughs> And the feeling of love and joy and bliss was just phenomenal. <laughs> and um, But there were some other things there for me on a personal level that I've completely forgotten. I probably would have said them. Um, so they're protecting me, uh, which I'm very grateful for. Um, I'm being reminded to, um, to, to say of an experience that I had. I was um, in the living room in front of the TV. <laughs> Sorry, DSM is coming in. In front of the TV. And I was um, meditating. Um, had real no kind of actual um, focus on the, on the screen in front of me. And um, was doing, and I could feel, I could hear, beep, 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 beep. I was like, what is that? And I was being told, it's the matrix trying to get into your brain. And I was like, oh, how interesting. It's all about frequency. And like this Tesla, right? Tesla says it. Gosh, I forget the actual quote. Michael always says it at the, most, at the end of his videos, so please watch one of his videos. But it's all about frequency and vibration. <laughs> I'm so grateful for the unplug. And thank you. Thank you, everybody, for everything that you are doing along this journey. Love you all.